Okay, in this video, 2022 Q School winner, Narin An, playing good again this week. Let's take a look. So the driver here gets going a little bit better than the iron swing does. So there's a little sequence problem with some of the iron swings. She is a good driver of the ball in terms of fairways hit, 76%. Fairways down a bit from that, or uh, greens are down a bit. You'd think she'd hit more greens being in the fairway that often. But we can see there is a sequence problem with the, the iron swings, very unusual. Backswing looking great up the plane. Good strong position at the top, flat left wrist. Club face just barely closed. We like all those positions. Drops it down. Lower body is leading, but you can see here, the left arm gets away from the body very quickly relative to a lot of the other players. She sinks into the legs and the club then shoots off the plane coming out this way, which for the driver, if it's a little bit off the plane coming underneath, she's going to hit a nice draw or at least hit up on the golf ball, but really sagging into those legs, which allows her to, you know, she's going to control the club face and, and like I said, hit a draw with the driver probably, but controlling the power or using the ground for power rather, not easy to do when you're sinking, when you should be extending. And she finally comes up out of the legs well into the, the follow through there. So she's not really getting the benefit of ground pressure like a lot of the other players do. Taking a look at an approach shot. Let's look at some lines here. This ball a little below her feet looks like. Great setup. Club up the plane. Say so great positions here, but it's very interesting to watch this sequence. She's literally starting the downswing with her arms moving before the lower body's moving on a lot of her iron swings that I've watched. We'll watch one more as well. But those arms moving first is so unusual. And with the stats being what they are, she's under 70% in the greens and reg after being in the fairway a lot. You can see the downswing being out of sequence is probably causing the problem. Arms first, and then she catches up with the body. Clubs under the plane there. Comes through on plane on the exit for a little while. Let's face it, she's on tour one, and she won the Q school, so she's obviously really good. But interesting with the stat show, and will that bode well for the future? Looks like she could sw switch the sequence pretty easily. It's better in the driver already, but those irons are definitely arms pulling hard into the downswing. For these shorter approach shots, I think where she swings it shorter, stays more in a three-quarter position. Up in there, it's, she's more likely here to have a better sequence. This one's sort of synced up pretty good. The lower body's moving about with the arms on the downswing. Still overly shallows a bit. Now, for a lot of players that do have the arms working first, it depends on the, obviously what their skill level is, but a lot of players, as they're developing, if they were steep on it, as a junior golfer, sometimes you'll have players work the club down in drills with the arms first to shallow it, but then that can get overcooked. And you can suddenly have someone moving the arms independent of the body. This one here, like we said, about together on the way through, planning it out nicely, not too much sag in the legs. That's, that's going to be a pretty accurate shot in there. Let's take a look at this one here. Approach shot is a great shot in there, about six feet. Got the timing perfect on this one. That great wind up. But like we said, if you look at the sequence on the way down, those arms are arguably starting too early. And once again, as they separate quickly from the body as they're flying off too early on the way down, you have to get the timing just right, which she did on this shot. That is difficult to do over, over time. I would think, like I said, sequentially, she could easily get these legs working sooner, let the arms sit there for a little, a little bit longer, and then she could start to get more power as well, which at her driving distance, I think over time, she'd like to be hitting it 20, 30 yards farther, which I think she could easily do if she changes that sequence. Well, we'll see what happens the rest of this week if she can keep climbing the leaderboard, and we'll see if she can prove me wrong by letting this sequence work for her all the way to the winner's circle or does she make need to make some adjustments over time thank you so much for watching just a quick reminder if it's your first time to the channel please hit that subscribe button and if you like the video hit the like button as well and we'll see you in the next video